When I started my career in advertising, it was sort of on the heels of, of one of the most iconic campaigns in, in the ad game, which was the, uh, the Think Different campaign that Apple uh, put together. They talked about there's certain people that bucked convention, that did things different from the way that things were done. And because of their approach and the way that they thought differently, they were able to make some profound and fundamental changes. We found out or we began to suspect that our older boy, who's now five, has autism around when he was two years old. And I didn't really understand what it was. Uh, you've seen probably Rain Man or something, and, and you have some understanding of uh, some exceptional skills or, or, or the word that sometimes has been used is, is a savant. But you don't really understand what it is. So autism is, is a gap in communication. Um, and uh, people or individuals on the spectrum, they just, they don't, connect, they don't communicate, they don't necessarily see or hear what is is being um, transmitted at them. Um, the spectrum is a, kind of a wide berth of, of understanding. It's a bit of a catch-all. Autism isn't very, isn't, it's not binary. It's not like you have a cold or you don't have a cold. It's, it's a whole range of symptoms that in the spectrum can, is comprised of ADHD, autism, beach apraxia, a number of things. Um, but but that's sort of at, at its core what, what autism is. You can look at various behavior of some notable people in history, Albert Einstein, for example, uh, even some historical figures like Mozart, recent figures like Amelia Earhart, um, even Steve Jobs. Um, and they displayed some very classic behavior uh, of people on the spectrum. I was reading a report that was published in the Journal of Autism and Development Disorders. It talks about how people on the spectrum are programmed to think differently. And, and they did a series of tests. They asked a number of people, I think there's a sampling of about 350 people, and they asked them to look at common things like paper clips and identify alternative uses for, uh, for these common items. A neurotypical response to, to that question would have been things like a pin or a fish hook or a piece of jewelry. People on the spectrum gave answers like a ballast for a paper airplane or uh, uh, chips for gambling. And they found that their responses were less than 5% of the common responses of, of the whole sample size. So they were actually you know, quantitatively different. So people on the spectrum, the right side of the brain, the, the, the one that answers, as they say, for the creativity, for the common experiences, the more sort of social behavior, it's impaired. It's one of the reasons that, they're, that uh, they, they are the way that they are. There, there isn't really a social common behavior that they have. There aren't the same references that, that, that they share with people. So people on the spectrum, they, their left side, the more logic side, not only is it not impaired, because it's what they use more often, in some cases it, it tends to be more developed. And the theory that came out of this, this piece was people on the spectrum they approach problem solving differently because that's the way that they're wired. I think many people remember the Think Different campaign. It talked about there's certain people that did things different from the way that things were done. And there was a one minute um, film basically celebrating that. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes the ones who see things differently. They kind of went through and selected some iconic figures who just through the sheer willpower or, or because they thought differently, um, changed like humanity for the better. Uh, and it just so happens that many of these people that, that changed the face of humanity, that thought differently, were on the spectrum. Yeah, as I said, including Steve Jobs, who is suspected to have had Asperger's. If you include 18, the 18 people highlighted there, 13 of the 18 people were either diagnosed as being on the spectrum or suspected to have been on the spectrum, um, which is pretty amazing. I, and there was never a brief, at least I never read about a brief, that we're looking for people on the spectrum. They're looking for people that thought differently. And it kind of occurred to me that the creative field has been a place for people on the spectrum for many, many years. Um, and I think in many ways without even really knowing it. It celebrated it, or at least certain things about it, unknowingly. My name is Alex Schifrin, and I think the creative industry is an environment where autism uh, or people who are on the spectrum become part of the community. To hear the full-length interview this video was based on, 
check out our podcast at patreon.com slash thoughtcafe, where you can also join our studio's Discord chat, contribute ideas for future videos, and access behind-the-scenes content. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. 